I'm going to make a doll room inspired by Fantastic Beast. Using cardboard, printables from our blog, scrapbook paper, popsicle sticks, paint, and glue. I start by taking a large piece of cardboard. I'm using a trifold from the dollar store. On the inside, I use a ruler to mark and measure a line for the end of the wall. Cut on the line drawn, and remember to always have adult supervision when working with sharp objects. Remove the excess cardboard and save it for later. With the remaining cardboard, we're going to use it to make a corner room. So I turn it over to the outside and begin covering it with scrapbook paper, making sure that the cardboard is closed when covering the fold so that it doesn't rip. I leave enough paper to hang over on the sides so that I can attach two pieces of cardboard to the sides. So, so far we have cut one of the trifolds in half to make a corner room, then we added two extra walls on the bottom half. Take the remaining scrapbook paper and fold it over and glue into place. Cover the inside walls with scrapbook paper. I'm making two separate floors. So for the top floor, I used an aged green print, a stripe along the top, and a dark brown trim. On the bottom, I begin covering most of it with a wood grain. I started with the outside of the lower walls. Then on the inside, I used a nature scene. Then I repeated on the other side as well. I continue covering with a wood grain, cutting some of the boards at different lengths so they look a little jagged. I added a few vertical lines, and I really want it to look like it's been built with scrap pieces of wood. Now that all of the walls have been covered, let's add the floor. Take another trifold, remove the sides, measure it to the top floor, cut two, draw a rectangle that is wide enough for the dolls to fit through, cut it out, glue the two pieces of cardboard together, cover with scrapbook paper on both sides. Test it out to make sure the doll can fit through the opening, then glue it into place. Cut a large piece of cardboard, place the room on top, trace the footprint, cover it with scrapbook paper for the inside floor and a sidewalk. Glue the room onto the cardboard, draw a grid on leftover cardboard, plot a path along the lines, cut on the line drawn, Cut two, cut rectangles of cardboard for the rise and run, cover with paper, glue them together, glue it to the outside for stairs. I printed out some of our wand shop printables and our New York City room, cut them out, glue them on for doors and windows. Use strips of paper for trim, and for a little extra, I can cover thin strips of cardboard to add a little dimension. Roll paper tubes, glue them onto the stairs, cut and cover a long strip of cardboard, curl the end, and glue it onto the paper tubes for a rail. So the outside of the building looks like a small townhouse in the city. On the inside, I glue on a New York City window, cut leftover cardboard, cover with paper, glue them together to make a bed. Add bedding, cut a rectangle of fabric and hem the sides. Make pleats at the top and bottom, glue it to the wall for curtains. Take a rectangle of fabric and pull the thread around the edges so they unravel to make a rug. I pulled apart a mini dresser we made in a previous video, recovered it to match our room, glue beads on the bottom to make a nightstand. I take the lamp from our doll wand shop and place it on the nightstand. Now for the giant hole in the floor. Cut recycled paperboard, cut a long strip, measure it to fit around the cutout from the floor, repeat for a thinner strip. I cover them with a light colored paper, glue the thin strip of paperboard around the cardboard cutout, cover the outside edge with a brown paper, cut out circles of cardstock, glue them over the corners and little rectangles, use drops of glue for rivets, paint it, use leather string for a handle, glue the open box to the cutout in the floor, use ribbon to attach the lid to make a suitcase that leads to the second floor, cut and glue together popsicle sticks, 
Brush it with a little watercolor to tint it to make a ladder. Cover cardboard with paper and glue them onto the walls for shelves to hold bottles of stuff, cages, small creatures. Attach antique posters to the wall. And this is actually a scrapbook page that I found at Michael's. I add a wider piece of cardboard for a desk so we can use items from our wizard chest like the cauldron, more little jars, candles, loose papers, and I'm just gonna leave the trunk in the room near the wall. So here is the office area where you can study Fantastic Beasts and write books, and we have two habitats on the sides. But I feel like we could use one more thing. So I cut a large circle of felt, sew a loose straight stitch all the way around the edge, pull the thread together, Add fluff, sew a piece of felt on top to close it. We made pom-poms from our doll nature scene video. Twist together pipe cleaners, wrap it with strips of felt, glue it onto the poof and add the pom-poms to make a tree habitat for some of our friends. And you're done. Happy crafting! to give a shout out to Pancake Girl, Pancake Girl. What's up? Sophie, could you please go upstairs and fetch my sweater? Sure, Grandma. But am I gonna find anything mysterious up there? Like a broom or a wand? Now you stop all that nonsense. <laughs> I don't see her sweater. Maybe it's in this suitcase. What is this? Oh! I knew it! I knew Grandma was magical! Seriously, nobody can make chocolate chip cookies that good.